Many can see them on the shelves of any British newsstand. Men's magazines with pictures of near naked women plastered across the cover. Now, two prominent feminist groups are calling for them to be removed from public sight or face the legal consequences. RT's Polly Boyko has the story. Your lad mags, it's a booming industry aimed at young men featuring lots of pictures of scantily clad women. Here in Britain, you can buy them in your local high street shop. But all that could be about to change because two feminist groups, armed with the support of several prominent British lawyers, say that these magazines objectify women and could underpin harmful attitudes that could lead to discrimination or even violence against women. So they're calling on high street retailers to stop selling the publications. If they don't, they say they risk being sued for harassment by customers and shop workers alike. But can you really be harassed by an inanimate object? Sure, they rank hotness of near-naked ladies and feature chauvinist jokes. But would removing them lead to cries of censorship? We hit the streets of London to find out what the public thinks. She is a model and getting paid for what she's doing. Yeah. And that's what and, and more and more guys are in those pictures as well. It's not just girls. I personally think they are quite offensive, but I think it's just the culture that we're in now. I don't, I don't like seeing them. If I walk into my, it's happened before. I walk into my local news agents and I've seen like just boobs everywhere, and I have asked them to turn them over. I've asked them to put them higher. I don't want to see it. It should be a choice. I don't think it's harmful at all. I mean, it, it's for a certain kind of person who reads that. Censoring any kind of press whether it's political or images or whatever, within reason, obviously there's legal issues, um, is, is, a dangerous, is a dangerous route to go down. Editors and readers of Lads Mags are up in arms. Their argument against removing them is simple. Since the magazines became popular in the mid-1990s, incidents of domestic violence in the UK have actually gone down. And if Lads Mags are deemed to be harassment, then how long before fashion magazines and advertising images are deemed to be harassment as well? And what's to stop men from being offended by pictures of naked male torsos on the covers of other magazines? Polly Boyko, RT, London.